So the third area isn't so bad either, but perhaps it has the biggest overworld the game has to offer, being that this level features the turtle van. Before we start with area 3, let's cover the controls for the turtle van. Press the D-pad to drive the turtle van. To fire the turtle van's gun, press the A button. The turtle van gun has unlimited ammo. To fire the missile, press the B button. Use the missiles to destroy the various roadblocks the foot has set up around the area. Also, you can take their steam rollers out in one shot as well. But unlike the standard gun, the missiles has a limited capacity. To exit the turtle van, press the select button. Also, taking damage in the turtle vans applies to the turtle that is operating it. So for an example, if Donatello is driving a van and has taken damage from a steamroller, then that damage applies to his health as well. Alright, so I think that covers the van controls. So first things first, hop in a turtle van then go up. Take out any steamrollers you might come across. Make your way to the blue building with the open door. This building is mandatory since it has a missile item we need for the turtle van. Now, after dealing with the dam section in area 2, most likely you will have a little health. To get your health back, go to the far right of this building and collect a slice of pizza. Now leave the building and rinse and repeat. Continue to do this until all of the turtle's health is replenished. I know doing this can be tedious, but one of the reasons why this game is hard is because it doesn't give us our health back between levels. Now, once you get all the turtle's health restored, it's time to move on and collect the missiles. We have to make our way to the extreme right. You know where the slice of pizza is located. Then jump or climb to the upper level. I don't really know guys, but for me, my main issue with this area was doing the hop jump correct. That is very important and you will understand why once we get to the sewer sections. Now head to the left and make your way back towards the beginning. Then climb the ladder to the second floor. Also, be mindful of the tall enemies that breathe fire. They can attack you with its head once the body is destroyed. Now we need to do the same thing here. Make your way to the extreme right, then reach the upper levels and then backtrack to the left to collect the missiles. Okay, so here's where you have to hop jump to reach the other side. If you do this incorrectly like I did here, you will fall back to the first floor. So let's try this again. Once you make the hop jump, grab the full pizza, then make your way to the upper levels and proceed to the left. Now there's a small gap right before the missile item. Do not jump over this gap. Instead, just simply walk across and you will not fall. Now with the missiles in hand, it's time to leave this building. Hop in a turtle van. Now head to the left and go down.
take out the blockhead with the missile, then head to the right. We're going to go all the way to the end here, then go down. Take out the next roadblock and keep heading down. We're heading towards the second blue building. Truthfully, this area is optional, but it has a cob weapon power up and a rope to collect. Take out all enemies in your path. Donatello is excellent at this because of his power and range. Now let's head up to the second floor. Quickly take out these enemies as well. Then head left and use the ladder to reach the upper level. You can see the cobweb and icon at the left from here. We'll be grabbing that very soon. Take out the two firemen as fast as possible, then head to the left. Now we have to jump and go over this platform and take out a sub boss version of the fireman. Now go down the ladder. It's possible to hit the bad looking enemies here, but you have to attack as soon as you jump off the ladder. Otherwise, you'll take damage like I did. Anyway, grab the Kai weapon, but give it to either Raphael or Mikey. Now, there's a reason why I say either one of those turtles, but I'll explain when we get to area five. For now, you have to trust me. Stay on the platform above the tall enemy and take him out with Donatello. Make sure to hit his head as well. Now we're going to head down into the sewers. Down here, we're going to grab a rope item at the right wall that start heading towards the left. Now walk until you get to the second green block. Whenever you see platforms with this amount of space between them, it means you can walk across them without falling. Now we're going to do a hop jump over to the next block, then a full jump to the taller platform. Because of its position, I wouldn't recommend this pizza. Now fall from here and make sure to keep the turtle over the green block to make a safe landing. Make your way to the right and take out the mini boss version of this guy, then head up the ladder. Clear all of the enemies here, then make your way to the left. We're almost done with this section. Now with no more enemies here, head for the exit. So it's time for more turtle van action. From here, we're going to go to the extreme left then go south. At the end of this section, you should see another blockade, but this time it's on a bridge. Use a missile to dispose of it. Now cross the bridge and head to the right. At this point, you want to keep the turtle van on the outer edge of the city. Okay, so we're going to take out the next roadblock and don't head up this way. Instead, go south. Now continue to the right. We're going to bypass another roadblock so there's no need to waste missiles on them. Head up this direction and when you see the next roadblock on the bridge, take it out with a missile. Keep going up and take out the next roadblock. Now we have four missiles left and that's enough to get us to where we're going. From here, Keep going to the left and take out the last roadblock in order for us to reach Master Splinter. We're almost at the end of the third area. Take out all enemies in this room then head down the ladder.
First thing first, clear a path, then jump down to the lower level. Now we have to use the hop jump while going to the right. And sorry that I didn't mention this earlier, but if you fall in the water, it's game over for that turtle, so please try not to fall. Make sure to keep an eye out for enemies and their projectiles while you jump. This is a critical step since they can make you fall. Okay, let's grab that half a pizza. Then keep going to the right. At this point, walk over to the last green block. Now simply wait for the tall fellow to unalive himself. Now continue and make your way to the ladder. Collect the full pizza and head for the exit. Also, this manhole grants you access to eliminate full pizzas. Just enter it and the pizza will respond every time. So make sure all the turtles are healthy because this is the last time you can recover before the end of the level. Now let's head into the final building. Use Don once again to take out every enemy in your path. If you don't want to run the risk of taking damage with him, then swap him out with Ralph or Leo. Now let's take this ladder up. Now wait for the enemies to move out the way and climb down the ladder. Now head to the left, then climb up the ladder. From here, go to the left. Take out the fireman, then climb the ladder. We finally made it to street level. Go to the right. Do a long jump on top of the small building then do one more and get ready for a boss fight. This boss will attack in the same manner as Leonardo. Keep your distance and hit him with Donatello's bow style. When you take out his turtle form, the Mecha Turtle will start to fly around shooting missiles at you. But stick to the plan while using ranged attacks and you will eventually get him. Now here's the easy way of defeating him. Use the Kai weapon and watch how his health gets annihilated. Jesus. And that's it. 